Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you watching the video. So this is a just a real quick video to talk about, uh, you know, manufacturing and how 3D printing and even uh, hobbyist uh, grade CNC is really changing the way that we're doing uh, manufacturing. And so I just want to show you real quick. Um, I got these uh, LEDs on the internet last year or so. I was going to make a project uh, to animate them for Christmas lights around the windows and, and around the house. And um, so these, uh, they're fantastic. I finally finished the hardware and software. Uh, I, I missed the window for Christmas last year, but <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I finished it this year. And so uh, I put a concerted effort about a month or so ago into trying to get these going so we can uh, get them ready for the holiday seasons. And so uh, uh, what I, uh, I was trying to figure out, you know, what, you know, what's the best way to attach these to the windows? They're, they don't have the kind of, the, the, the wires that run independently like regular Christmas lights do. So um, Nail screws and whatnot just didn't uh, seem to work for me. So I, I came up with a quick design and I figured, you know, I'll just make a kind of like a hook uh, that holds it in and then, you know, snaps it next to the window. And so I came up with this guy, uh, which is a, a little L. Um, you know, this snaps into the siding of the house and then the wires run through the side here. And, and it works very well. Uh, so, you know, just imagine it snapped, uh, you know, if you have the window kind of right here, it snaps up into the siding and then this, this, the wires, uh, kind of flow down into the, into the siding or into the, into the channel like this. And so, uh, it works, it works very well. The problem is, is it didn't, um, didn't really provide any stability to these, these, uh, lights and they, they flop around and, um, you know, maybe maybe I'm OCD or something. I don't know, but uh, I wanted a, a better presentation there, so uh, I made about uh, two uh, different versions of this, just to adjust some sizes and make it uh, fit more snugly and 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 fit a little bit better. So, but uh, I, I quickly iterated on the design. This all happened in one one evening, and I I came up with this guy, which is a completely different design. So this was, you know, this snaps into uh, the siding here. Um, and, and the wires run through the hole here. This actually snaps onto the window frame of the house, um, of the of the window. Um, and then it actually goes like this if the window frame was like this. And then, you know, let me turn it around so you guys can see how it would actually look. So imagine the window being right here. Um, and so it snaps onto the window frame and then the, the, the lights stick out here and they're all completely horizontal and level and, and, and unison and whatnot. So uh, I, I made about three of these uh, very quickly over the period of about two hours. Uh, I, the original design, the tolerances here were a little too tight, um, it, you know, kind of bowed it out a little bit. There's a lot of flex there. I didn't really like that. And then uh, the second iteration, I made this a little wider and I dorked up this measurement so it was a little too big. So I had to shrink it all back down and made a third one. Um, but again, I, I did also over a period of about two hours. Um, and I was able to do it because of uh, 3D printing and additive manufacturing. And, you know, the, the Fusion 360 I had here, I designed all this in Fusion uh, for my own purposes, right? So I was able to quickly uh, come up with the design, you know, kind of sketch it out in my mind, go into Fusion, make the make the part, and then um, print it and, and, and turn it from computer to reality and, and give it a go and... and and then iterate on it a couple times over a period of hours. So, man, you know, a few years or so ago, this would have taken weeks, if not months, right? Uh, we would have had to um, do the design, tr send the design off for manufacturing, uh, do some sort of, um, you know, uh, uh, forming of the plastic and whatnot, and then you get the prototype back and you realize it's not right, and you have to go through the whole process again, and, you know, thousands of dollars of setup and forming and whatnot. Uh, all that has gone by the wayside. So, you know, additive manufacturing and 3D printing and, and home CNCs are really, you know, fundamentally changed the way that we're approaching prototyping and manufacturing. So I find that fascinating. It, it's thought provoking. It, it's it's a little, um, it's disruptive. It's not a little disruptive. It's completely disruptive to the way that we're doing business today. So um, just, you know, it might be hobbyist and you might think that this is a no big deal, but um, step back and think about all the different ways this is going to change the world and change the way that we're doing manufacturing and change the way that we're approaching 
uh, bringing products to market. Uh, it, it, it's it's astounding. And so, you know, I just want to make this quick video to say that um, there's a lot been written about this, and, and you know, a lot of it's been hyped to a certain extent. But um, it's really not um, it's really not hype anymore. Eh? You know, it's, it, the reality is is that this is just the way it is. And so, you know, if I wanted to productionize this for whatever reason and turn it into a product and send it off to uh, manufacturing, I can possibly you know absolutely do that. And it, it works. Um, if you know everyone in the universe had my windows, it'd be perfect for them. Um, I would honestly say this, de you know, this design is probably better uh, from a generic perspective because it just slides into you know the siding. But um, for me, this is all I need, and it's perfect for me. And I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them. I, you know, I print you know something like uh, 12 or 16 of them at a time. It takes a few hours, and um, I'm good to go. So. Um, you know, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll continue making them. If you don't like it, um, I do encourage you to give it a thumbs up anyway. Please subscribe. Um, you know, the subscribe button is going to be probably down here in this corner. Um, I appreciate it. Um, and until next time, uh, I wish you, you know, all the best. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.